Hello, Iron Bill here, too old to grind. Uh, today with a video uh, showing where the uh, scannables are on uh, the four lost sectors that Bungie has included. I'm going with a uh, Storm Trance uh, Warlock. You see my setup here, uh, basic uh, tools, Nameless Midnight. Um, I believe I had uh, the Positive Outlook and the Igolo Shotgun. I'm running a full uh, Future War Cult uh, armor setup, which is important because um, what you want here is to be able to, to get your renown up in this particular case. Now, I'm starting on Earth at the Winding Cove because that was the nearest uh, reasonable public event. If you're wearing the uh, full faction armor uh, and artifact and all, uh, you get an extra uh, point of renown whenever you do a public event. So my plan here is to have four by the end of this public event, pick up a patrol and go with five and then I'll take that to the lost sector that contains the scannable event. Now if I do this right I'll get a total of 15 tokens uh, from doing the combined events. So once again here make sure that you turn your public events uh, into heroics which we do here. We finish pretty quickly. And by the way, Winding Cove is just an outstanding public event. Now, I had to sparrow back to town at Trostland, which is where this is at, into this particular lost sector. I'm speeding through this to facilitate uh, uh, quicker play. Uh, the enemies here are not real tough. The final boss is kind of quick and he stays up in this area and he shoots this shotgun that has ricochet rounds. Not a particularly difficult boss, uh, not great for the shotgun, then I decide to rush it and do my storm trance, and of course if you have landfall on storm trance, don't do that around an explosive barrel, or you lose a point of renown. I was irritated, but it is what it is. So, came in, finished him off, and collected my loot. Now, uh, you need to see how to get to this first scannable. You drop down towards this wrecked ship, and you're going to wrap around to the right and side of the building through that doorway and you'll notice there's a marker now and they all are marked if you get close enough and then you scan and you get five more tokens now this should have been 15 wound up being 13 but that's my own stupidity now the next one is on titan it's siren's watch now you notice i did this after the reset so now there's an additional uh, milestone for uh, looting a lost sector with three renowns. So same plan as before. I'll go to a public event, turn it heroic, get four renown from that, pick up a patrol, and then uh, enter the lost sector with five renown. So here I am completing the last step to turn it heroic. We finish it off, and yeah. Now, by the way, uh, many of you have heard me talk about double dipping on public events, that would be a case where I would immediately reload that instance and I would probably have found another uh, public event right there uh, at nearing its end. It's a quick way to farm. So here we go down into, I believe this is Methane Flush, it is. There are two uh, Shriekers, numerous Titans, uh, and of course the Switch, which is the main boss. Clear everything out. You notice I do the melee and then go at her with a shotgun. Didn't quite finish her in one round. Uh, whip back around. This is the Escalation Protocol shotgun by the way. Really need you to do a melee before you go for it, but it is a monster once you get it activated. Uh, after that, clean out the rest of the ads and collect your loot. Now as soon as you jump off this platform uh, here in a second, and I kind of lost my way for a second, and uh, should have just jumped right down, but you jump down, you turn right, and right under the staircase is the next scannable. And five more tokens coming up. Next, it's on to Nessus, and I loaded into um, Exodus black I believe it is. Sparrow over to Glade of Echoes after of course doing a heroic event and a patrol. 
come on down here and this lost sector has two levels you have the lower level which you clear first then you go forward and wrap around upwards to your right and once you're up there you will meet the boss uh, which in this case is going to be a servitor once again not too tough but there are a lot of ads so with five renown you gotta remember not to push your luck too hard um, not tough so wrap through there eventually whittle the boss down now if I used a sniper I'd have moved a lot quicker the shotgun really isn't the way to go in this particular case okay go collect the loot and then you back off and drop down to the lower level and right under where you picked up the chest you see one of these side panels and there it is Now I got more tokens that time because of the milestone, so this was really a pretty good haul here. I think I got 24 total for the chest and activity, and then five more. Here we are again on IO, uh, loaded in to the very familiar uh, lost our, our public event here. What a nice here we go. Turn it heroic by destroying this ship. The boss will immediately land, and I do love these Cabal lander missions. They are so easy to activate heroic, even alone. Hello, Ikelos. It's done. The thing to be careful about here is that you get your renown before all the enemies are gone. They can kill you, so you want to be careful. Now, this is me finishing the patrol that I needed, and I saw enemies all over the place, so I chose this path to avoid getting shot, and... A few of you know that if you try to muscle your way through areas full of enemies, you will get shot off your sparrow at five renown. So I notice a chest here. I go ahead and pick it up. And the lost sector is right here, just to the right of uh, where you see the Cabal and the Vex fighting. So once again, just a lot of Vex. And by the way, if you have any sort of... Um, Oh, things that you have to do. For instance, I know on one of the armor sets for the Warlock, you have to Nova Bomb Vex. This is a pretty good place to do that because there are a lot of Vex. Eventually, the final boss goes down. And you see this spinning wheel over here. And this is not very intuitive. If you get up here, you don't want to try to do this before you collect your chest or you could lose some renown. <coughs> Excuse me. So you look over the edge here. And right in that hole is where you have to go. Right through there. I did it on my hunter from there, but it's a farther jump than it looks like, so it's safer to come on over here and just drop it around because if you're depending upon the brightness of your television set, that may not be easy to see. Bend around to the right, come back to the left, and there's your final scannable. So I uh, wish everyone luck. Uh, it's a pretty easy thing to do. You can do this on all three characters, so that's actually quite a few points. And with that, this is Iron Bill, Too Old to Grind, signing off.